Today on Coach's Corner, we feature the Michigan girls varsity softball team and some of their standout players. The Diablos have put together an outstanding season with a group of players that love to play the game and are quite good at it. With their eye on a CIF title, we go deep inside the program to discover how the Diablos manage win after win. This is Coach's Corner, I'm Paul Higgins and all the action starts right now. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Higgins and welcome again to Coach's Corner right here at the Shops in Mission Viejo. So happy you can join us and obviously we have a great show with a great team and an excellent program. The Mission Viejo Diablo softball team, they did it again this year, the last six out of seven years. South Coast League champions, hoping to go deep into the playoffs and eventually maybe a CIF title. Their head coach in his 12th year, he's been there 14 years, 12 years now as the head coach. Of course, this is Troy Ibarra and a, a long-standing tradition at Mission Viejo, also bringing three great players. Alyssa Palomino joins us right now on this edition of Coach's Corner. So Coach, thanks for hanging out with me this half hour. Thanks for having us. And, and I know you've been patient um, and, and you, you're on this show for good reason. Boy, have you guys had a great season. Yeah, the kids have been working really hard. Uh, their work ethic on the field, their practice has really shown their performance in games, and uh, hopefully it's going to continue. Yeah, at the, at the time of taping the show, 23-1 and one in the season, right. South Coast League champion, 6-0 and oh in South Coast League, and uh, Alyssa is chasing a mark set by Laura Lauren Chamberlain. I believe she went to El Toro High School, Correct. and she set a mark of 17 home runs in a single season. This young lady, as a sophomore, and I mistook her for a senior, she already has 16 home runs. How do you do it? Um, I try to go up there and not think about it. I just go up there and swing and try to get on base for my team and do what I can for my team. Now, I know you guys pitch that ball very, very fast. Does it slow down for you or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, most pitchers I'll see are fast or slow, but I just try and stay back and see the ball how I see the ball. Yeah, you, you see it well, 16 <laughs> home runs. coach. You have an assistant, not an assistant coach, a co-head coach. Yeah. Tell me about Tony and her background and how important she is to you. Yeah, Tony Mascarenas came on board in uh, 2007, which was the first South Coast League championship they had won in 20 years. So she brings a lot to the table. Uh, all CIF player at Pacifica, CIF champion at Pacifica High School, um, won national title with the Bat Busters travel ball organization, yeah. Gary Hanning and also a All-American from University of Arizona and national champion there in the Jenny Finch days. Wow, yeah, I had Arizona. Jenny Finch on the show last year. Yep. You know, not only is she a good, good ball player, she's a good looking gal too. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a great one-two punch for the sport to yes. promote the sport. Yes. That she does a great job at. Yes, that could does. be you someday. Only a sophomore, you're, the he you're hitting the heck out of the ball. You come from a hitting family. Tell us about that. No pun intended, but <laughs> there's some history there. Well, with my family, I've been growing up with this game, and I've been playing since I was very little, and I know how competitive I have to be with them, so. Yeah. Tell me the connection with the boxer end of it, though. Um, oh. With that, <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't really grow up around him boxing, but I knew what he did, and I know he was a great athlete. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and Coach, when you get a, a, a life there's there's a bloodline that goes through and the talent she could have picked any sport you know okay. soccer basketball field hockey whatever right. and she probably would have been good at it oh, yeah. she chose the sport that you love yeah You're, that's that's a treat isn't it? no it is a treat and we're glad to have her at the program um, i've known her since she was 10 years old and she's had these same goals and accomplishments in softball since she was little and uh, i know she's going to have those same ones in the future she makes uh, your job a little bit easier as a coach, almost like a player coach on the field. Tell me about that. Only a sophomore, but center field, she has to know the game. Right, we do teach communication at all our practices, and she is a leader in communicating with the rest of the team. Yeah. You know, always uh, letting the cutoffs know where they need to be, letting the outfielders know how to back up, and is always very boisterous out there in center field. It does a great job there. Yeah, and what is it that you like about softball, and, and what drove you to play this sport? Well, I think growing up around it, I just knew my fa like my family was into it, and I just got into it when I was young. And being on the field is basically my second home, and I know what I'm doing, and I just love playing with the girls, and the competition 
it's like it's a great feeling being out there. Do you know where the ball is going to be hit before it's hit when you're in center field? Um, sometimes usually I go off by when it's hit off the bat, and I'll follow it wherever it goes. It it's also depending on the wind and the way yeah. it goes, but you just have to track it and keep moving your feet. Yeah, Coach, uh, we, we've got highlights that we're showing of you uh, defeating Dana Hills, and Dana Hills, you know, a good program in itself. Good, yeah. um, the South Coast League, a lot of great softball players. What, what differentiates one team from the next in this league? Obviously, you took the table going 6-0, and but still great competition. The South Coast League is very, very competitive. Every game is a championship game, every one that we play, and we prepare that way. Yeah. Danny Hills has got a great program. Margo's done a great job over there. She's been there a lot, a lot of years. Yeah. They got banners up there as well, and, uh, and kids come through programs year after year. You know, El Toro's been there. We hadn't beaten them in 20 years until a few years back. Yeah. Uh, when Laguna Hills was in the program, they went deep in the CIA playoffs. So the South Coast League has always been a competitive league. Yeah, they certainly are. And you've got to give that some of that to the lower level softball teams that are playing, the young girls, like probably how you started. And, and now here you are in high school. Um, aspirations for college, tell me about that. And are colleges, which I assume they probably are, already looking at you? Well, um, for the college thing, we get scouted as young players and we just keep getting looked at as we grow older and it gets really competitive and sometimes overwhelming but we usually stay grounded yeah. and know like what we have to do to get our scholarships. So uh, this, it's safe to say you've already been contacted by schools? Yes. And any decisions that are kind of looking out there? Yeah, I'm committed actually to the University of Arizona right that's now. Right. Yeah, I'll University be going there in two years. University of Arizona. I wanted you to say that because that's pretty <laughs> amazing, you know. Coach, I mean, what a lucky what a lucky individual, but also to already be committed. Some people as seniors, you know, May 1st is normally the cut, cut off of mm -hmm. when they want, where they want to know that they want, what college they want to go to. Here she is two years ahead of schedule. Right. No, she's doing a great job and her work ethic on the field shows and her performance shows and uh, she has a very bright future in the game. Alyssa, has there been one person that, that has told you certain things that you should do on a softball field? Is there a mentor that you have that you look up to that said, Alyssa, if you want to be successful, you do this, you do this, and this. Um, I have my whole family behind me. I know Tony's always been there, my aunt, my grandma's been there for me, my mom. Ever since I was a little girl, I've just grown up around it, and they've always pushed me to be my best. Any aspirations to be maybe part of a national team one day? I do have a dream of that one day. I just have to keep growing and keep getting better and doing my job on the field. Well, obviously, we're going to have you on the show again, so <laughs> you'll get to do this again. And uh, I appreciate you joining us on This Deep in the Season. We wish you the best of luck. Already committed to the University of Arizona. Pretty special young lady. When we come back, we'll have much more of Coach's Corner talking Diablo softball, one of the best teams you'll see around. <laughs> 